Heavenly Father, King of Glory, God of Glory, Heavenly Father, the Glory of Israel, Heavenly Father, the One and Only God, the Living God, the Active God, the Messiah, the Good Shepherd, the Creator of the Heavens, the Creator of the whole World, the Ruler of the Heavens, the Ruler of the whole World, the Maker of the Heavens, the Maker of the whole World. I worship you because by your Spirit I'm alive. Let your name be lifted up, let your name be magnified. Let your name be praised above every other name because you are the only living God, the God by himself. All the other gods are the works of men. They have ears, they cannot hear. They have nose, they cannot smell. They have mouth, they cannot speak. But you are the living, you are the active, you are the one and only God. I worship you, Lord God Almighty. I worship you, Lord Jehovah. I worship you, Lord Yahweh. Let your name be lifted up. I magnify your only name. I worship your name, I bow down before you, omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient God, the God that is beyond understanding, the miracle walking God. Let your name be adored, let your name be worshipped today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, Holy Spirit, the Spirit of life, Holy Spirit, the director, Holy Spirit, the teacher, Holy Spirit that knows all things. Holy Spirit, the Counselor, I worship you today. I invite your power, I invite your might, I invite your spirit, I invite your anointing. I invite your glory even as I share a message on how to receive a miracle. Jesus Christ, you are the miracle worker. Jesus Christ, you are the God of signs and wonders. Jesus Christ, your name has been exalted above every other name. And at the mention of your name, every knee shall bow of face in them, of face on earth, of face under the earth. At the mention of your name, demons must bow. At the mention of your name, powers and principalities must bow. At the mention of your name, sicknesses and diseases must bow. At the mention of your name, barrenness must bow. At the mention of your name, disappointment and stagnancy must bow. At the mention of your name, failure must give way to successes. And at the mention of your name, darkness must fade away and the light of the glorious God must appear. Therefore, Jesus Christ, I pray that the power in your name shall be manifested in which I shall share this message on how to receive a miracle. This is Save the World, a Christian ministry with a divine mandate to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Baba Tokwe Baba Nubi. By the grace of God and the leading of the Holy Spirit, I shall be sharing a message that is titled How to Receive a Miracle. How to Receive a Miracle. And the reference text for this message is taken from Genesis chapter 22, verse 18, and Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27, that says the same thing that is there anything. That is too hard for God. Is there anything that you think is too hard for God to do in your life? Is there a hard thing you want God to do for you? Is there a difficulty that you want to become ease for you? I pray that the God that does hard things shall intervene in your situation. I pray that the God of Joseph shall give you a hard miracle. I pray that the God of Daniel, Meshad, and Abednego shall give you a hard miracle. The Lord you serve is a specialist in doing hard things. That thing that looks like a mountain, that thing that looks hard, by the grace of God, it shall become simple in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everyone needs a miracle. Everyone desires a miracle. Everyone wants a miracle. Everyone is praying for a miracle. A miracle is a turnaround situation. Everyone wants a miracle, a miracle is a new thing. Everyone wants a miracle, a miracle is a supernatural intervention in the affairs of men. What miracle do you desire? Is it fruitfulness of the womb? Is it jump employment? Is it overcoming an habitual habit? Is it overcoming failure to have business success? Is it, is it to recognize your travel documents? Whatsoever the nature and the name of the miracle you are, you, are, you are hoping for, I believe that God shall give you a hard thing. God shall turn that hard things into an easy thing. The miracle of marriage shall come to pass. You shall sing your wedding songs and cut your wedding cake 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How to receive a miracle and shall start by looking at what is a miracle. A miracle is an exemption to the rules. Today your case shall be different. You shall be exempted from the rule. The rule shall be broken for your sake in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A miracle is something you cannot explain because in a miracle, plus two plus two can become three, it can become one, it can become five. Today, something you cannot explain, something you don't understand, something good shall happen to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is a miracle number three? A miracle is a supernatural occurrence. What is a miracle? A miracle is where the impossible becomes possible. What is a miracle? A miracle is a blessing that money cannot buy. What is a miracle? A miracle is where and when the law of gravity is broken. What is a miracle? A miracle is where hope is lost, but a miracle happens to achieve your goals. What is a miracle? A miracle is where fast becomes false. What is a miracle? A miracle is a supernatural intervention, intervention in the affairs of men that no man can explain. I pray for you once more that that promotion that no one can explain, that sudden financial breakthrough that no one can explain, that work with God that astounds many people, the Lord of all shall do it for you, he 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 shall do it for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see your womb bearing twins, I see your womb bearing a baby, I see your pregnancy springing forth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Protocol shall be broken for your sake. Your impossibility shall become possible. I challenge every hard, every long-standing problems in your life. I challenge them by the blood of Jesus Christ. I challenge them by the name of God. I challenge them by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every long-standing problem in your life, whether it's nightmares, whether it's satanic oppression, whether it's stagnancy, whether it's barrenness, whether it's delayed marriage, no matter the name and nature of that long-standing problems in your life, I say hear the word of God. Hear the word of God become a miracle. Become a miracle. Become a miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is a miracle? A miracle is divine. What is a miracle? A miracle is something that cannot be explained scientifically. What is a miracle? Miracles are things that turn professors into fools. What is a miracle? Miracle that that confounds miracles are things that confounds the wise and turns their strengths into weaknesses. What is a miracle? A miracle is what turns money into dancing and sorrow into joy. What is a miracle? A miracle is a divine solution in the affairs of men. What is a miracle? A miracle is a supernatural deliverance. There is someone under the influence of my voice that needs supernatural deliverance from gambling, that needs supernatural deliverance from pool staking, that needs supernatural deliverance from every different sinful habits, that needs supernatural deliverance from drunkenness, that needs supernatural deliverance from sicknesses and diseases, that needs some supernatural deliverance from terminal sicknesses, no matter the name, no matter the nature of that oppression or that affliction, whether it's marital crisis as your husband running away with a string woman, whether it's delayed failure, are you in your 30s or 40s and you are finding it difficult to get married, right now we are you are by the word of God, by the spirit of the living God, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the name that is above every other name, receive your miracle, receive your deliverance, receive your miracle, receive your breakthroughs, receive your healing, receive your miracle, receive your liberty. Receive it now, 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 receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command the angels of God, I command the host of heaven that stands in the presence of God to bring every answers to your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall fight for you, he shall fight for your deliverance, he shall fight for your healing. He shall fight for your fruitfulness. He shall fight for your salvation. He shall fight for your liberty. He shall fight for your promotion. He shall fight for your breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible is a book of miracles. In that same Bible, Jesus turned water to wine in order to cover the shame in the wedding party. Perhaps there's something that has been covering that has been causing you shame. 
By the same spirit in which Jesus Christ turned water to wine, you shall receive a miracle which shall not be stranded. You shall receive a miracle which shall not be stranded. You shall receive a supernatural intervention. You shall not be stranded in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In that same Bible, Paul and Peter hid the name man that was sitting by the beautiful gate. Perhaps you are being called a beautiful name, but your life and destiny and glory is not beautiful. Perhaps you have been sitting at the beautiful gate, yet you are leprous, yet you are named. By that same anointing of Peter and Paul, receive your healing, receive your liberty, receive your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In that same Bible, Naaman the soldier was ill of his leprosy. No matter the leprosy situation that you are facing, are you leprous maritally, are you leprous academically, are you leprous financially? No matter the situations of life that have caused you to be leprous, by the same anointing, by the same water, that he, Naaman, receive your healing, receive your healing. I rebuke the spirit of leprosy, poverty that has caused leprosy into your finances, debts that has caused leprosy into your finances, I rebuke them and I cast them out, 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 out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are still looking at miracles in the Bible. In that same Bible, Jesus Christ healed the blind man who was sitting by the pool of Bethsaida. No matter form of blindness that you are facing, whether it's spiritual or physical blindness, no matter the nature or the degree or the depth of blindness that you have been facing, receive your healing. You shall see where you shall see things of the spirit and shall see things in the physical in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In that same Bible, Jesus fed 5,000 people, even with five loaves of bread and fishes. I pray for you again. I rebuke the spirit of hunger. I rebuke the spirit of poverty in your life. You shall not be stranded. You shall not go hungry. You shall eat the old stock and bring out the old because of the new in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In that same Bible that was delivered by the Egyptians by the Red Sea. I speak to every real estate that is facing you, and I command you to part, I command you to divide, I command you to divide, I command you to divide, I command you to be parted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every Pharaoh and their horses that are pursuing you, all your stubborn pursuers, every problem that has been pursuing you since childhood, every stubborn problem that has been pursuing you since the womb of your mother, today I command them to perish in the Red Sea, let the Red Sea open its mouth, and let them be swallowed by the Red Sea, be swallowed by the Red Sea, poverty, debts, tenancy, be swallowed by the Red Sea, joblessness, business failure, be swallowed by the Red Sea, barrenness, the name marriage, be swallowed by the Red Sea, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In that same Bible, God did a miracle for Sarah, and she became a mother at the age of 90. Barrenness is of the devil, everything God created is good, and God gave us the commandment in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, to be fruitful and multiply and dominate and replenish the heart. Therefore, by the word of God, I command you to be fruitful, be fruitful, be fruitful, be fruitful, be fruitful. I speak to your womb and I command your womb to be fruitful. Let the finger of God touch your womb. Let the finger of God touch your womb. Let the finger of God touch your womb. You spirit of barrenness, you cause of barrenness, you are the devil and I command it to be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In that same Bible, Jonah was delivered from the belly of a fish. No matter the powers of this world that has swallowed you up, no matter the witchcraft powers that has swallowed your destiny, that has swallowed your star, that has swallowed your finances, the word of God says that he has swallowed up riches, he shall vomit them, the Lord shall cast it out of his belly, Therefore, every strong man, every Goliath, every Herod, every Haman, every Pharaoh, every power of this world that has swallowed your riches, I command them to vomit it. Vomit them, vomit them. Let your prosperity be vomited. Let your riches be vomited. Let your admission letter be vomited. Let your visas be vomited. Let your husband be vomited. Let your wives, let your children, let your star, glory, and destiny be vomited in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In that same Bible, you shall command the sun and moon to stand still until he has defeated all his enemies. The Lord shall fight for you, and the sun, the moon, and the stars shall fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do you need a miracle? If you are suffering from terminal sickness, 
definitely you need a miracle. Who needs a miracle? If your doctors have announced your death day, you need a miracle. Is anybody who needs a miracle? If orthodox, doctor, if orthodox doctors have described your sickness as incurable and terminal, you need a miracle. And today, the miracle working God is here. Today, Jesus Christ, the healer is here. Today, Jesus Christ, the person that he is sick is here. Today, the blood of Jesus Christ is flowing. If only you can tap into that blood, you shall receive your miracle. You shall receive your healing from cancer. Receive your healing from HIV and AIDS. Receive your healing from malaria. Receive your healing from waist pain. Receive your healing from blindness. Receive your healing from hypertension. Receive your healing from headache. Receive your healing from pain. Receive your healing from hypertension. Receive your healing from fever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are healed. You shall not die but live and they proclaim the words of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are expressing nightmares, if you are being attacked by day or by night by spiritual forces of wickedness, then you need a miracle of deliverance. If you remain in the same position in your office for years, then you need a miracle of sudden promotion. If, you are, if your chain of life has been moving without direction, then you need a miracle. Is there somebody who needs a miracle if your certificate with good honors has not been able to give you a profitable job? Therefore, you need a miracle to move into your next level. If you are 60 and you cannot point out to a non property that is your home, you cannot point out to a nun that is your home, even if people of this world say a fool at 40 is a fool forever. If you are more than 40 or 50 years old and you have not you have any plans to have your own property and you are still a tenant, then you need a miracle. If you're a lady at 40 and no one has said I love you and you are still in value at the age of 40, even the Bible says there's a time for everything, at 40 you are supposed to be rounded up child bearing. Then you need a miracle to move into your marital breakthrough. Are you a woman that is right for marriage and no one is approaching you? Then you need a miracle. You need to be free from the cause of thou shalt not marry. You need to be free from the bondage of spirit husband or spirit wives. Have you been struggling and struggling and no matter how hard you try, you don't succeed, then you need a miracle to push you into your river Jordan. If the journey of nine months is taking nine years and you don't have any fruit of the womb, then God needs to intervene in your situation. Are you addicted to any sins like drunkenness, like drugs addiction? Are you smoking? Are you gambling? Are you gambling? Are you addicted to pornography, to lying, to stealing, or to all the other sins, to idolatry? Then God needs to intervene in your situation. No matter the nature of your affliction, no matter the nature of your problem, the good news is that God says that He has seen the affliction of His people while in Egypt. He has heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, and He has now come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them into a good land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Today I command the angels of deliverance, the angels of promotion, the angels of fruitfulness, the angels of favor, the angels of mercy, the angels of goodness to push you into your river Jordan. Enter into your river Jordan, enter into your Jordan of miracle, enter into your Jordan of promotion, enter into your Jordan of, of blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How to receive a miracle? I shall start to round up by itemizing steps you need to take in order to receive a miracle. The number one steps you need to take is that you need to totally and uncompromisingly surrender your life to Jesus Christ, the miracle worker. And if you are here, if you want to say yes to Jesus, all you need to do is just to say this confessional prayer after me. Jesus Christ, I come to you just as I am. I am a sinner. I confess you as my personal Lord and Savior. I pray that your precious blood shall wash my sins away. I am born again. There is the future of God rule my life from now henceforth in Jesus' mighty name. Now that you are born again Christians, you need to grow in faith. You need to grow and develop in the spirit. And the number two steps you need to take is that you need to memorize several scriptures that talk about your situation, that address the situation, whether it's healing, whether it's deliverance, whether it's salvation, whether it's financial breakthrough. Compile those scriptures, memorize them by heart, memorize the books, memorize the verses, and chant those scriptures every day. And as we are doing that, the word of God is sharper than any double-edged sword. The word of God is spirit and light. 
as we are doing that, the word of God does not come back void. As we are doing that, the word of God shall perform miracle for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How to receive a miracle number one. Sin is the enemy of miracles. Therefore, you need to decide to totally stay away from sin. You have to become the enemy of sin. You have to eat sin with a passion before you can receive a miracle with God. Because unless we are holy, the Lord of heaven cannot be pleased with us. How do you receive a miracle number four? You need to cry to God without rest until you process your miracle. You need to cry day, you need to cry night, you need to cry in the morning, you need to cry at night. There is no person in the Bible that cries to God that God doesn't answer. And there is no way God answers prayers in the Bible unless people cry unto him. As you start crying to God today in prayers, in fasting, in supplications, I'm persuaded that he shall hack unto you and give you your miracles in Jesus' mighty name. How do you receive a miracle? You have to be spiritually violent from the days of John the Baptist and up to now the kingdom of God suffering violent and the violent take it by force. You cannot take your miracle by force. When God promised to release the Israelites from the land of bondage in Egypt, they were only able to go out by force. Even when they were in the wilderness, it is only the people that believe that they can possess the land by force that eventually go to the promised land. Miracles are not for ladies and gentlemen. Miracles are for those who are spiritually aggressive and spiritually violent. Today, as you start to pray aggressively, today, as you become restless, you shall receive that miracle, you shall receive that breakthroughs, you shall receive that deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, how do you receive a miracle? Number six, you have to be physically aggressive until you receive a miracle. How do you receive a miracle? Number seven, you have to pursue your miracle and take the steps of faith. When, when David lost his wife and children at Gika, he was crying and crying and crying. But the moment he decided to pursue, in the moment he decided to overtake, the moment he decided to run after his miracle, he was able to recover. Today, you shall pursue, you shall overtake, you shall recover. You shall pursue, you shall overtake, you shall recover. Pursue, overtake, recover. Pursue, overtake, recover. Pursue, overtake, recover. Pursue, overtake, recover. Recover your talents, recover your skills, recover your marriage, recover your wedding, recover your finances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you receive a miracle, you need to obey simple spiritual injunctions or divine instruction. Unless you obey the laws of God, God cannot do a miracle for you. How do you receive a miracle? You need to improve yourself. You need to learn new things. You need to improve your skills. You need to get more certifications because as more certificates you get educationally, possibly your income will also increase. You can't be stagnant in your education. You cannot be stagnant with your skills. You cannot be stagnant with your talents and expect a miracle to happen. How do you receive a miracle? You have to look for information and ideas. The Bible says that people perish because they lack knowledge. You need to look for information. You need to look for ideas. You need to acquire knowledge. And as you look for information, your miracle lies in that new idea. How do you receive a miracle? Number 11, you need to pray and you have to decide not to stop praying until something happens. Night vigils must become your hobby. The mattress must become your enemy. You must permanently turn your hand to 12 midnight. And you must know how to stand up and pray for at least one hour at 12 midnight. The Bible says, receive the devil and he shall flee away. As you receive the devil every 12 midnight, during the dark hours where people, where dark forces meet, as you receive the devil and command them to release your blessings, definitely your miracle shall manifest in Jesus' mighty name. How do you receive a miracle? You need to give God quality hours in praises. As you worship God, is going to move on your behalf. God responds more to praises and worship rather than prayers. As we praise God, we are giving, we are feeding him. As we praise God, he's going to respond. As we give quality offering of praise in one hour, two hours, three hours, even going to seven hours dancing before your maker in praise and worship songs, heaven shall surely intervene in your behalf in Jesus' mighty name. And you receive a miracle number 13, you need to give sacrificial offering and back it up with a vow as led by your spirit. How do you receive a miracle? You need to go for deliverance in nature that understands deliverance. The Bible says that five shall chase a hundred and a hundred shall put ten thousand to flight. As you go for deliverance, there are some people, there are some strong men that are more powerful than you. 
Even David prayed that prayer that God should deliver him from those who are stronger than him. As we join in corporate prayer, I believe the anointing of God shall fall over you, the demons that surround you shall scatter, the fire of God shall fall over you, you shall be broken, body shall be lifted up, and you shall possess your possessions in Jesus' mighty name. How do you receive a miracle? Serve God in a gentle name. In service and see your miracle, as you win souls to the kingdom of God, there is going to be joy in the presence of God, and as there is joy in the presence of God, God shall reward you. The Bible says that God is a rewarder of those that diligently seek Him. As you see God diligently, as you do the work of a missionary, the work of an evangelist, you shall surely receive financial miracle, you shall receive health miracle, you shall receive body miracles in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How do you receive a miracle? Don't lose face when you are suffering because the Bible says that after you are suffering a while, God shall stretch you. After he has stretched you a while, God shall establish you. After he has established you a while, God shall set to you. Today, I pray for you that the God of Israel shall set to you as you believe in God, as you trust him, as you serve him, as you totally surrender your life to him, as you run away from every sin, as you overcome all your habitual sinful habits. The Lord of Israel shall set to you, he will set to you. He will set to you maritally, he shall set to you financially, he shall set to you academically, he shall set to you career-wise, he shall set to you spiritually, he shall set to you professionally. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are the next in line to receive a miracle, receive yours now, receive yours now, receive it now, receive it now, receive it now, receive your car keys, receive your visa, receive your international passport, receive your non property, receive your house, receive your babies, receive your husband, receive your children, receive salvation, receive your promotion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are the next in line. God shall turn things around when they don't turn against the captivity of Zion. We are then that dreamed, then our mouth was fully was filled with laughter and our tongues was filled with joy. And then say the, among the and then and then say among the heathen, the Lord has done a great thing for us. The Lord shall arise and have mercy on you for the time to favor you has come, yet the side time. You are the nice in life for favor. The Lord of Israel, who is your redeemer, is the event, and he shall redeem you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is Save the World, a Christian ministry with a divine money to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Baba Tokwe Babanobi, and I've been discussing a message that is titled, How to Receive a Miracle. If you have been blessed by this message and you want more prayers and counseling, or you want to support the ministry in any way that you want as led by the Spirit, the number to call is plus 234-8035897435. The number again is plus 234-8035897435. You are a walking miracle. Receive your miracle. You shall testify of the miracle of God in your life. And of course, the greatest miracle is your salvation. That shall be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.